humiliated, only 10 millennials show up to Maxine Waters Get Out the Vote event by Erin Moreno for truthfeednews.com. You had more donuts in your bakery box this morning than Maxine had at her campaign event on June 3rd. Waters billed the event as hip. Tweet-a-thon for millennials, where uh, so-called top social media influencers would gather to show support for Maxine Waters and her hashtag resistant movement for 2018 midterms. Her campaign urged millennials to show up energized and ready to get out the vote, and boy, were they energized and ready to roll. All Ten of them. You, you can't make this stuff up. Let's take a quick look here. Maxine Waters. Uh, in this past couple of years, we have learned that you really do care, that you're really interested, and that you have something to say. And so when you come here, you always have an open mind. With that kind of mindset, are you going to progress in life? That's. Can you imagine just somebody white saying that? You know, I would like more re representation for white people. What would you sound like? But that's okay to say more representation for. Why? Why? Why say that? This is the mindset of the the ten that showed up. Yeah, let's clap at that idiotic statement. This is the mentality of the 10 idiots. Oh, let's take care of the immigrants. Meanwhile, Governor Brown is cutting your water supply, but let's bring in more immigrants and use less water. Thank you. Anybody else have some thoughts? I know you do, because you talk to me when I first came. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for me, I think more transparency. Thank you. Okay, Miss Organizer. Miss okay. Organizer. Are we still going on what we want to see change? Yes, or? yes. Oh, well, you know, I feel like a lot of people here, like, they know what they want to say. Like, all of us have student loans. Uh, all of us, you know, want to write wow. talk about it. Yeah. All of us are struggling with housing. Yeah. Um, homeless people are struggling with housing. Yeah. Um, homeless is a huge issue here. And, you know, I know our homeless community is struggling with a lot of issues. Yeah. But, like, finding a place to live is really important. Yeah. It's hard for all of us. Yeah. You know, it's hard for all of us. Your student loan is high because the illegals are getting free tuition and you have to pay for it. That's really brilliant. And, and there's no homes. Of course there aren't homes. The illegals are taking up the homes that are being subsidized by the taxpayers.
our parents were able to get albums at affordable interest rates that we can't have. We don't have disposable income paying a lot of money to student loans. I'm going to pay ten thousand dollars a year on my student loans, and my principal balance goes up at the end of the year every year for the next year. My own uh, first son, and that's the kind of thing I think. One of those on the older side, at least, are worried about. Reclaiming my time in the back. Pass the microphone around and down. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm from Massachusetts, and coming to Los Angeles, uh, the homeless issue here is just, I've never seen anything like it, so I think that's something I would like to see change. Um, it's just, there's no reason for anyone to be living on the street like that. Everyone should have access to food and water and home and a home, so. Everyone should have access to food, water, and a home. Uh, okay, who's going to pay for it? They they fail to mention who's going to pay for it. Thank you, thank you. I sit down. <laughs> well, I'm just restating everything. The student loans, I'm dying. <laughs> so that the uh, high pricing. And you know this woman is real employable with all those tattoos all over her. Yeah, she's really going to get a great job there. Yeah, that's the workforce. With all those tattoos, why does she bother going to school? How are you going to present yourself with all those tattoos all over you? Apartments, the studio and the one bedroom are basically the same. Unless she's going into a uh, uh, show business. Uh, immigration too, you know, my mom's from El Salvador, so... You know, that would be great to talk about that. Here is just, I never Look, Sorry this. about that. I'm going to go back to her. Um, it's just, there's no reason for anyone to be living on the street like that. Everyone should have access to food and water and home and a home. So that's going to be Don't worry. Jerry Brown's going to make sure you get a lot of water. <laughs> well, I'm just restating everything. I'm a student loan. I'm dying. <laughs> so that the uh, high pricing It's really riveting. How unbelievable. Look at the place. It's empty. Look at the place. It's empty. Sorry about that. Let's go back. Um, sorry. Okay. Wait. Where, let, where, let's get the sound somewhere. Where is the sound? Oh, there, right in front of me. Sorry. Uh, and he has a life. Look at the place. I want you to be able uh, to have a family and to be able to support that family and to do what America promised everybody to do. And that is have a good income, have a strong family, have a good... How could you have a, home, a good income when you're letting the illegals who are going to work for practically nothing? How are you going to have a good income? That was the whole point of the New World Order, to bring in illegals. So the income would actually go down to third world levels because for that, uh, the Ill illegal uh, immigrants or whatever you want to call them, the illegals, uh, they would work for, let's say, $5 an hour. You want $12 an hour. You get it? So who's the boss going to hire? The one that uh, wants $5 an hour. <laughs> and off the books, too. Take vacations, enjoy yourself. And take vacations and enjoy yourselves, yeah. And that's what America has promised, and that's what we know has been afforded to some folks. We need it for all folks. Yeah, but who's going to pay for it? She fails to mention who's going to pay for all of these vacations and the housing and... So thank you again for being here. I hate to see you go, but come back. Yeah. And don't forget, Tuesday night when we have our party to rejoin.
rejoice in the fact that we did well, you know we don't have to have a runoff. Because the way the jungle primary works in California, the highest two vote getters have to run off no matter what. It could be two Democrats, two Republicans, but you have to run off. It's not as if 51% of the majority automatically win. Yeah. So we're going to give a run off, and I'd love to have you working with me. Uh, because again, it's going to take some work. We have uh, not only, I want you to follow these names. Roger Stone uh, is the advisor to my main opponent. Uh, and then he's got uh, in that campaign Joe Ohio from Arizona, you know the bad guy, right. the sheriff that treated the prisoners so bad and didn't target. Yeah. And they did a fundraiser up at the uh, Trump law force that's right next to the district up in Palisburg. Yeah. And then he's got um, what is it? Uh, Mike, Michael Glenn, who did a fundraiser in Palm Springs with the Republican women. Right. And he proudly puts all these books and criminals on his. In other words, Joe Arpaio, uh, Roger Stone, they're crooks, and Michael Flynn, she mentions in that sentence, I didn't quite understand. L look, at, look at all the empty tables, and she's got a ton of food on that table behind her. <laughs> they thought this place was going to be packed. Listen, people are waking up. I was out a Republican in basic language, and then he lists all of them. And he has a last name that is Latin, uh, he's Cuban, and what a lot of our people don't understand is he supports the president building the wall, mm -hmm. he's opposed to DACA, he does not support DACA, and... I think she's talking about that other guy uh, that's running against her that they're voting out, I forgot. He's Cuban, she said, I don't know where he's from, uh, uh, but... Uh, he 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 supports what the president wants. He he doesn't support DACA and everything. That's what she said. Um, in addition to that, he is not worried at all. Said a word about or cares about what is happening at the border. What is happening at the border of the separation of parents from their children is real. Mm -hmm. And he cannot. Yeah, okay, and who's going to pay for all of this? See, this is what the Democrats fail to mention, just like Bernie Sanders, the other idiot in charge there. Who's going to pay for it? In other words, everybody else is going to go work hard so you can pay for the uh, illegals and lazy people? I mean, that's not the way America works. And we're speaking out against that. Uh, we think that that is one of the worst things that a government could do to any family. The family shouldn't be coming here with their kids. I know about that. That's what happened to the slavery. Mm -hmm. When they separated families, they sold off the men uh, from uh, their sisters, uh, the sisters went to work in the kitchen in the, in the, in the, in the, you know, feeding, cooking the food and everything. The guys went to the field, and the women, of course, uh, had to run for their lives to keep the men attacked by all of them owners of the plantation. So what we is understand she? what it means to basically be separated and have families separated and children pulled apart from each other. So some of these things, many of us, you know, want to speak out on, I do, some people don't get, some people, you know, are a little bit afraid, a little bit intimidated. Unfortunately, I don't have enough sense to be intimidated by anything, anybody. Yeah. So that means that I have to speak up, and I have to speak out, I have to confront it, and I always say, if you come to me, come to me. <laughs> Look at the table with the food. Look at the table with the food. They got a ton of food for five people there. I didn't really count. I think it's about ten people that were speaking. Well, we find them over and over again. I think the last big find that we did was on something called horses and shorts, where they had people buying their shorts that they didn't need. Uh, that came through the bank, and the bank came up. She was talking about Obamacare. Yeah, who's going to pay for that? You know what I'm saying? These people, uh, the, actually, they're communists. Uh, belief in the communist system. Uh, this is not the American way. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, unbelievable. And the 10 idiots that did go, I mean, really? What did they have anything to say except wanting uh, free things? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.